Sorry, I think I need to sit this one out. How many is he put away? Give you a couple of sips, that's all. OK, let's have a look at you. That's all right, I think we've got it. Thank you, Emma. Fine. Let me know if you want a medical professional instead of a bar mold. Oh, I think we need to get you home. Come on, right, are you sure now? Yeah. Shouldn't those cups be here by now? Yep. I'm on it. Get it! Just cruel. What are you talking about? It loves it, really. Look at the big crowd of our eyes. Yeah, you have your fun now. It'll all change when little Julia comes along. Or not. It depends if little Julia actually knows you exist. Yeah, well, what he doesn't know can't hurt him. Can. Wow, sexy bit of beef, mister. Oh, it's a dairy cow, Debs. Clues in these babies. Oh, right, well, I'm sure you're impressing my farming knowledge. Well, I'll reward you later. <laughs> right, come on, you drink up. Taxi's nearly here. No, I'm not feeling it. Soz. But you're bailing on me, stag dick. But why am I even surprised? Why'd you even care? You've got your wedding, your candy floss, our granddad's watch. So that's it. You're jealous. Of you? I can't spread it three ways, man. Four, actually, if you count your dirty little secret. Oi! Your granddad passed it to me. He can do the same with his kids. They're not even his kids, they're Debbie's. So maybe he'll have kids of his own. Yeah, well, what if I'm ahead of Golden Boy on that one? You what? Yeah, you know that cute little kid that you've been playing dad to? Moses is mine, mate. So you didn't think to tell us? Moses is our grandchild. You choose your moments. I'm surprised you didn't wait till the church. <laughs> well, maybe there's more to come. You and Mum, no wonder she kept that one quiet. You let Debbie go through all that worry and you never stepped up. Fat lot you see, Pete. Oh, yeah, cos you're all so perfect. Where's your little laddie? The one you had with some teenage skank? Oh, you don't talk about Amy like that. Oh, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna... Ah, kill me. Oi! Leave her alone, Ross. Oh, and you can talk. This perfect mum act. You didn't go near Sarah for years. You can't change what you've done, Debs. Ross, this isn't the time. Get your hands off me, mother. Before I remind everybody of what you did to me. And that's enough. Debs. What? I've been a mum to his kid. He can give me a minute. Guess what? I didn't fancy your offer. So what now? Don't keep me in suspense, Ross. You should have thought of that. Cozying up to Pete. I know what a dirty little hypocrite you are. What? He's never gonna do it for you like me. In the back of the pickup, in the garage, in some greasy old lay-by. Who needs some Ponte Hotel for the best sex you've ever had? Yeah, had. Past. It's over now. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, darling. When he's pouring at you and you're thinking of me, you're still cheating, Debs, you sad, desperate tart. Why are you being like this? I was ready to give up everything for you. My family, my home. I trusted you, Ross. I loved you. And all you can talk about are the places that we did it. But do not give him the satisfaction, Debbie. We're going back to yours. Now. Get off! You will respect your dad. Because he's the only one who doesn't want to see you under a bus right now. You heard him. He's playing me. He's gonna blow the whole thing. So much for your plan. Genius idea, that well, was. Well, I didn't know how much you hated me then, OK? Why don't I tell him to stay away? Because he won't listen! This is all gonna come out. Pete's gonna be humiliated. It's all my fault. Well, it's a bit late to realise it now. I want you to get rid of him. I don't care how. A couple of days ago, you were running off together. Yeah, well, now he's gonna make sure that I don't get a single second of happiness. You're the only one that can stop him.